Welcome to Jake's Kitchen. Welcome to Jake's Kitchen. <laughs> I never know what to say next. <laughs> Welcome to Jake's Kitchen. Today we're going to show you how we like to cook up elk steaks. Obviously, this is one of the main reasons why we do what we do. Uh, this is delicious, 100% organic. Um, the way we like to do it is what you call the reverse sear method. Uh, we've cooked elk steaks a million different ways. Um, just straight sear on the grill, sear and then oven and this way, it will come out delicious and juicy every single time, okay? So these steaks have been sitting out for about 45 minutes. You wanna try and get them to come up to room temperature. That way you get more of a, an even cook. <laughs> even cook. Um, a lot of people like their steaks a bit thicker. I like mine about an inch thick. That way you get a lot of good crust. Everybody, so what you do, pat them off like I just did. Um, choose your favorite rub, okay? This stuff right here, Cosmos Q, is the best stuff that I've ever tried. So that's what we're using today. Um, when you rub it, be, you know, not afraid of putting too much rub on there um, because a little bit's going to cook off. Um, when you're you're cooking a steak so both sides cover it super well if you can see that and what you want to do with the reverse sear method is cook it at around 275 degrees um, until that internal temperature comes to be about 120 is when i pull it off that way it cooks evenly through the full steak and then you bring it back and you sear both sides for about 45 seconds to get that good crust that you want, okay? So you can do it in the oven. The first time I tried this was in the oven and it was delicious. Um, I prefer a little bit of smoky flavor, so we're gonna go and do it on the grill. All right, so we're out here at the grill. Uh, we're in smoker mode right now. We're right at 275, so it's right about perfect. We wanna keep it away from the heat, just like an oven would be, right at 275. And so basically what this is gonna do is just allow the whole steak to cook all the way through. Um, that way we don't have a bunch of different kinds of doneness. You know, I'm sure you've cooked the steak where the outside is well done, then it goes medium medium rare rare to the middle we want this just how we like it okay so we're going to leave them on here it'll probably take about 20 25 minutes um and then we're going to take them inside and finish them with the sear okay so it's looking like we're about there um, we're just below 120 but since these steaks are so thin when we sear them on the cast iron they are going to cook a little bit more so we're gonna call our square there. Get these bad boys off. Go finish them on the cast iron. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna finish these off on the cast iron um, with a quick sear. We like to go about half oil, half butter. Um, get it really hot with the reverse sear method. It's not gonna be on very long. Just about 45 seconds to a minute on each side. Um, so just coat the bottom of the pan with oil. I'm running canola oil right now. Um, really anything that can burn hot will be fine. And then we go about half butter as well. Give it some good butter flavor. Yep. Let that melt and then we'll get those steaks on there. Okay, so we're hot. We've got this on a medium high heat. We're gonna give it a good sear. Let 
that roll for about 45 seconds on that side. Okay, so it's been about 45 seconds. That is exactly what we're looking for. We want a good crust on there. We're gonna go for another 45 on that side. Okay, so we're good on that side. That is money right there. And then I, I like to let them sit for about five minutes. Honestly, with the reverse sear, it's not quite as important to let it sit just because it's already fully cooked through. Um, but I like to just to let it cool off and kind of get those juices flowing again. All right, so we've let these rest for a little bit. We're gonna dive in, see how they turned out. Oh, it cuts like butter. And that is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Just a slight dark edge around the outside then the whole inside is that perfect medium, medium rare that we want. So I'm gonna slice this. Another hot tip for you, always slice against the grain. That way it helps make the meat super tender and easy to chew through. Okay, so you know the rules. Camera guys always get the taste test first. Steven and Cam. Oh man, I'm That's all right. Okay, give it a taste. Guys, I'm pretty good. How is it? Melt in the mouth. That's what we're looking for. Mm. Bang. Elk steaks, reverse sear, money every time. Mm.